Hello everyone, welcome to Schneider Electric PLC training tutorial where you will learn uh, Schneider Electric PLC programming. So in this video, we will learn the basics of PLC, how the PLC functions, some of the application of the PLC. To get uh, an extensive information on this topic, you can visit our site at www.expertlearningzone.com. So first, we are going to begin by understanding what a PLC is. So what is a PLC? So programmable logic controllers commonly called PLC, they are actually small computers with a separate components okay, that have been designed to control the process. What is now the importance of, of PLC? So PLC have been found uh, applicable in large areas in the industry. Okay, so they have been used they have been used in uh, different areas like uh, circuit breakers control. They have been used in different areas like pump control. They have been used in different areas like motor, like motor controls as well as other machineries. So PLC nowadays are of great importance and they offer great mechanism to control industrial operations of large number, especially machines and devices found in in industry so with their advanced usage it is uh, progressively becoming important okay so it is progressively becoming an important part of industrial automation engineering so thus it is of vital importance that professionals who are looking forward to become experts in the field of automation engineering should be given proper training in this area okay. let's look at some of the major components of a of a PLC. So to begin with the hardware, the hardware components. So the hardware component is actually the part of the PLC that you can see and physically see or, or touch. Okay. So these are some of PLC sellers: Alan Bradley, Siemens, Modicon, uh, and uh, Koyo. So there are okay, there are many PLC. PLC sellers out there, or there are many PLC out there in the market. The second component that we are going to look at is the software. So the software is what is what we use. Okay, it's what we use to set configurations to the hardware, and we do this with the help of the software environment and IDE. So this is where we build all the logic that we need, okay, that we need to implement on the hardware. So now let's look at uh, the the components that make up the hardware. So the PLC hardware is made up of different components. For example, we have the input unit, that is the input module. The input module gathers information from the environment, okay, from the external world, and channel them to the CPU, to the central processing. The central processing unit now processes that information and sends them back to the outside world through the output module. And our out, outside world now we have things now like uh, motors, like valves, like LEDs, and so on. While for the input unit, we can have things like sensors or switches. And all of these need to function with the help of a power supply. Then we also have our workstation, which we call the programming device, which is where the software, which is where the software component resides. The software component resides here. Okay, so now let's look at some of those components in detail that mix up the hardware. First, the processor. So the processor is responsible for performing all the arithmetic and logical operations of the system. Next, we have the power unit. So the power unit now is responsible for converting the AC voltage to a voltage level that our PLC can understand. Remember, our PLC is an electronic device and as such, it works under low power. So the power unit should be able to convert it to the appropriate form. Then we have a memory. So the memory is where the program is loaded, okay, before it is being executed by the, the CPU. So we load it, we have to store the program somewhere in the hardware for it to be accessed by the CPU for execution. So we do that with the help of the memory unit. So the next component will be the input output unit. So, like we earlier said, that the input output unit they are responsible for relating our PLC to the outside world. Okay? 
So we get external information from the outside world through the input and we send information to the outside world through the output. And finally, we have now our programming station, which is where we build the software logic to transfer into the CPU of the, of the PLC for execution. Okay, so now let's understand how the PLC actually works. So when the PLC is set to the run mode, so when it is started, okay, it performs input scan. So by input scan, we mean that the PLC reads all the inputs, okay, attached to the input module. So it may be the state of a switch, the state of a sensor. And when it reads all of them, then they are copied into the CPU and based on the state of those inputs the program is executed so logic is passed now based on those inputs so logic is computed on those inputs and when that logic is computed and based on how the PLC has been programmed okay the, the results are written to the output so that's what we call the output scan so in this case we are now writing to the external world we are writing to field devices we are writing to output devices based on the results of the computation by the cpu and after that our cpu now performs some housekeeping and by housekeeping we mean that it now performs some diagnostics okay like checking of communication like checking of the programming terminals and some internal functionality okay all right so thank you very much and see you in the next video Please like, share, comment and subscribe.